image. Talk to your learning partner. What do you see? Yeah, I see three groups of six. I see, I see three groups of six. And I see the same. I see three groups of six smiley faces. The number sentence is three times six Initially, children that came in that felt very secure in their maths felt that they just needed to work with large numbers, and that's what made them a good mathematician. It took them a little while to realise that as we were working through different contexts and concepts, that actually the number wasn't important. What was important was the understanding of what they were doing within the learning. What do you see on the board, Emily? Three groups of six. Good girl. <gasps> Kareth, tell me what you see. I see three groups of six. We developed the children's understanding of commutative law by using arrays, and I asked them, what do you see? They were able to very quickly identify groups and rows. Tell your learning partner, what is that as a multiplication sentence? Three times three. 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 What is that as a multiplication sentence? Kyle, what is that as a multiplication sentence? Six times three equals eighteen. Good boy. Is there another way of saying it, Kyle? Three times six equals eighteen. Good boy. So we can say either three times six equals eighteen or six times three equals eighteen. What do you see now? Tell your learning partner. Four. I see three times six equals eighteen. Oh, look, so the add up to twenty. I can see four groups of six. Four. Four times six equals twenty-four. Six times four equals twenty-four. Good girl. And six times four equals twenty-four as well. It's the commutative law. It's a raise. Yeah, it, it's an array. And three, two, one. Emily, tell me what you can see. Four great. Of six. Good girl. You can see four groups of six stars. Kira, can you tell me the multiplication sentence for four groups of six stars? Six times four equals twenty-four, or four times six equals twenty-four. Good girl. We've got four times six equals twenty-four. And six times four equals 24. Variation's really important in, in the lesson. Previously, this isn't something I spent too much time on, and it's something I've really learnt this year, and, and the importance of using it as well. So giving them times tables and practising times tables with a few questions, adding and subtracting, isn't good enough. We need to show it in lots of different ways. OK, here's something a little bit different. We have a six centimetre line at the top, but we have a long red line. Talk to your learning partner. What is the multiplication sentence to help us answer the question? Um, um, it's 30 centimetres. Yeah, so 6 centimetres plus 6 centimetres plus 6 centimetres plus 6 centimetres plus 6 centimetres equals 30. So 30 centimetres. So 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 5 times 6 equals 30, or um, 6 times 5 equals 30. Yeah. Okay, so what is the 6? At the moment, if we look on the board there, what is the 6? Um, centimetres in each. Good boy, so good. So the 6 is the 6 centimetres in set each section. What does the 5 mean then? How many times do you add to six? How many times you need to add to six? So it's how many parts there are, aren't there, along that line? Can you see? So you just need to make sure we know what the five actually means as well. Good boy. So tell me the number sentence. Six times five equals 
Five. Good. Six times five equals thirty centimeters. Vikram, could you tell me what the number sentence is to help us know how long the red line is? Five times six equals thirty. Good boy. Five times six equals thirty, but thirty centimeters. Good boy. Five times six equals thirty centimeters. What does the five mean? Have a little think about what does the five mean in five times six equals thirty centimeters. Talk to your learning partner. What does the five mean in five times six? How many, five means how many times or times in six. Five means how much time you have to add six up to get your answer, and the six means uh, the number of how much time you have to. Have a look on the board. What does the six mean? The six means uh, the length of each jump. The six is the centimetres, isn't it? It's the length of each section. Good girl. So tell me what the six means, Kyle. How many sections? How many centimetres are in each section? Good boy. Um, what does the five mean? We've already said it's five times six equals 30 centimetres, but what does the five mean? Have a look at the number at the at the line. See if that helps you. <laughs> Would it help you if you said what the six is? What does the six mean? Looking at the line, what is the six? You counted in the sixes, but what is the six? Good. So if the six means how many centimeters? What does the five mean? Keep looking at the board. What does the five mean? Say again, sorry? How many times do you have to add it up? Good girl. So looking, so it says how many times you need to add it up. So it's five. So you're adding the six centimetres five times because of the parts that are there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can you tell me what the five means in five times six equals thirty centimetres? Five means how many times you're repeating the six. Okay. So what does the six mean? The six means how many centimetres are in each chunk. Good. Okay. So the six is how many is in each part. Good boy. Three, two, one. Ada, could you tell me what the five means in five times six equals 30? Five means how much times you have to add six up to get to your answer, which is 30. OK, so the five, we could say, is how many parts there are in the red line. What then does the six mean? Aidan. What does the six mean? It means how many centimetres are in each part. Good boy. It means how many centimetres are in each part. So what does the 30 mean? Cleo, what does the 30 mean? 30 means centimetres. Good girl. So what does it mean in this number sentence? <clears throat> it means... board to help you sweetheart so we've got the red line and we've got the parts which are six centimeters six centimeters six centimeters six centimeters and six centimeters we know that the five is how many parts and we know that the six is how many centimeters in each part so what does the 30 mean how much we've counted up to We've got to 30, but what does it actually mean, sweetheart? Look at the board to help you. What's the question on the board? 
So the 30 means the red line is 30 what? Centimetres. Good girl. Can you tell me the full number sentence and put in the measure as well for me? 5 times 6 equals 30 centimetres. Good girl. <coughs> Here are six rows. In each row there are five eggs. How many eggs are there all together? Tell your learning partner. Oh, sorry. Five, five, six, five, six, 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 Good boy. So what does the five mean in this number sentence? Good boy. Five times six equals thirty. And six six times five equals thirty. There's five rows and six eggs in one row. Six eggs in one row. Uh, so the um, multiplication uh, sentence is five times six and six times five equals um, 30. Um, we came up with it's that an there's, array, it's an it, array. And it's five by six, not six by five. So there's, if we're talking about the array, then in each column, there's six eggs. And in each row, there's five eggs. So, 5 times 6 equals 30. So, there are six rows. In each row, there are five eggs. How many eggs are there all together? What's the number sentence? Karasan, what's the number sentence? 5 times 6 equals 30, or 6 times 5 equals 30. Good boy. So, we've got 6 times 5 equals 30, or 5 times 6 equals 30. What does 6 times 5 equals 30 mean? What does the six mean in this number sentence? Karasan, carry on for me. Um, the six means six rows. Good boy. And the five means five eggs in each row. Could you carry on and tell me what the 30 means? And the 30 means how much eggs are all together. Good. It means how many eggs there are all together. Good boy. Have a look at this one. One bag of fruit contains six apples. How many apples will I have if I f buy six bags of fruit? Talk to your learning partner and tell me what each section means. Tell me the number sentence. Six times six equals thirty-six. What does each section mean? The first six means how many bags of fruit. Second six means how many apples there are in each bag of fruit. And then... 36 means the answer. What is the answer? 36 apples. Good, 36 apples. Good girl. Three, two, one. Okay, so we had one bag of fruit containing six apples. How many apples will I have if I buy six bags of fruit? Jason, tell me the answer. So it would be six times six equals 36. Good boy. Can you tell me what each part of the number sentence means for six times six equals 36? So the six means um, six bags eggs, and the other six means six apples in each bag. And what does the and answer the, mean? And the answer means all together bags, bags, that, bags, not apples there are. Good boy. How many apples there are in each bag? Is there another way of saying... Six times six equals 36. No. Good. Either way, it's still going to say six times six equals 36. There's not another way on this one. OK, one more. There are six bunches of cherries. There are two in each bunch. How many cherries are there all together? Talk to your learning partner. What's the number sentence? What does each part mean? What's the number sentence? Six times two equals Good. What does 6 times 2 equal 12 mean in this number sentence? There are 12 cherries. Have a 
one look at the board to help you. So there's six bunches of cherries. There are two in each bunch. How many cherries are there all together? Two. What's, what is the two in this sentence? How many, how many cherries are in? Good gal. So what does the six mean? How, how many cherries there are? How many? Have another look at the board and the question. There are six bunches of cherries. There are two in each bunch. There are six bunches of cherries. Good gal. So the six is how many bunches? And what was the two? How many? How many are in Good gal. So what's the answer? Six times two. Twelve. Good girl. Tell me the whole number sentence. Six times two equals twelve. There are six bunches of cherries. There are two cherries in each one. So the number sentence would be six times two equals twelve. It's important that children understand what each number actually represents. Two times six equals twelve isn't good enough. They need to explain what the two means. That the two was the bunches of cherries, that the six were how many bunches, and the 12 were how many were all together. It's really important that children articulate that and explain that to me in full sentences to show they have a really clear understanding on what the question is and what the mathematical sentence is for that purpose in that question. So there are six bunches of cherries, there are two in each bunch. How many cherries are there all together? Vikram. There's six cherries. There's Two. What is the number sentence to start off with? Two times six equals twelve. Good, okay, so we've got six times two equals twelve, or two times six equals twelve. What does, if we look at six times two equals twelve, what does each part mean in this number sentence? The two means how many the thing is, like how many the cherry, how many cherries are are in each group good boy and the six means how many groups of cherries there are good boy so the six is the groups how many bunches of cherries there are and there are two in each bunch good boy by doing those small steps it makes such a difference to the children's understanding their security and their confidence as mathematicians